everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing the three most common malwares, which are viruses, worms, and torgens. Now, there is a common misconception that these three all do the same thing in terms of cybersecurity, and their terms have been used interchangeably to describe certain malware. While it is true that they all lead to the same destructive results, they're still pretty different in how they work and how they infect devices. So in this video, I'll break down each piece of malware individually, since understanding how they work would help you protect yourself more effectively. Now, I personally think that using an antivirus to deal with this sort of stuff on my behalf is the most efficient method as they handle all the malware detection and isolation automatically and would warn me whenever I'm about to open suspicious links or messages. So in case you're interested, I'll leave some reviews on antiviruses I normally recommend, along with some discounts in the description below, and hopefully you'll find something that fits your needs. Okay, so the first malware type I wanna talk about is gonna be viruses. Now, viruses are a type of malware that's always gonna be attached to an executable file. This means that they heavily rely on you opening said file in order to launch and start writing their own code, which would spread them to other programs on your device. It's also worth mentioning that viruses are almost always spread through social engineering and never on their own. This means that in order to get your computer infected, you're going to need to receive an infected file from either a friend, an unsafe download, or by clicking suspicious links. And when it comes to sobriety, they vary in mild effects to completely destroying your software and hardware, so don't take them lightly. Next up, we have worms. Now, worms are kind of similar to viruses. In fact, they're considered a subclass of them. But when it comes to spreading, it's much more dangerous as it doesn't need to attach to a file or have an execute command to start running. And to make it even worse, Worms have the ability to multiply hundreds, even thousands of times across a short period of time. The way these worms spread is typically through file or information transport features on your system, commonly through local networks. Due to the copying nature of a worm and its capability to travel across networks, the result in most cases is the worm consumes too much system memory or network bandwidth, causing web servers network servers, and individual computers to stop responding. A big example of this would be the 2003 blaster worm incident, where it was commonly spreading through college and business local networks, since back then firewalls typically did not prevent internal machines from using certain ports. Lastly, we have torgens, which are pieces of malware that are much different from viruses and worms on a fundamental level. The way these types of malware work is by basically discussing themselves as legitimate applications or files and they launch an attack the second you open them. Now, despite not having the ability to spread and infect other programs, when it comes to sobriety, they have just as destructive effects as viruses and worms. So these are the most common types of malware and how they work. If you want to stay clear of such malware, try not to open any suspicious links or accept any messages or emails from unknown sources. However, I still highly recommend using an antivirus since even if you're cautious all the time, there's always a chance that you might slip up and open the wrong email or link and get your system infected. Antiviruses, however, are consistently scanning your device for any threats and would instantly warn you of any suspicious files or links before you press on them. So basically, you're protected at all times. If you're interested in getting an antivirus, I'll leave some of my top recommendations in the description down below, along with some discounts. And that's it for today's video. If you liked the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments as I love interacting with you guys. That would be it for today, and I'll see you in the next one.